Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and we're going to do the final draw for the fall journal. If it doesn't get claimed this time, I probably am going to just keep it. <laughs> so um, I've gone through names again to try to make sure it's people recently who have um, commented. So hopefully we won't have a problem this time. Hopefully somebody will um, get it home. Alright, so I'm going to put my hand in. Just mix them up. I can't see in there. Just mixing, mixing, and I'm going to grab one. All right, let's see who we got. Nan! Yay, Nan! <laughs> I know for sure she will see because um, I just, she commented last night that she would love to have the fall journal. So go figure, Nan. You got lucky. So um, I will keep these names in here. That's all, you know other people that comment all the time and um, I will keep doing the surprise giveaways I just like them better because I feel like um, a lot of times when you do the other giveaways people will comment on that video and then they never comment again you know just to get their name in the draw which is fine because I know loads of people watch and don't feel like commenting and I do understand that but I just know that there's some people that always watch so and I'll do another one of the other giveaways eventually too but um, just so everybody can participate but I just like to um, you know recognize the people that really are with me all the time and really do comment all the time and you know all that so but thank you to everybody and thank you so much to all my subscribers you know for watching that's really the most awesome thing to do. You don't have to comment all the time. Okay, so what we're going to work on today is a little envelope. And this was just a regular um, envelope. I got these off Amazon a while back. I've had them for a while. They're air, ma air mail um, envelopes and I use them for all kinds of stuff, but I haven't used them in a while. Um, so all I've done is it was one single flap so I just kind of cut you know the V shape there and rounded the corner here this corner was already rounded so that it flips up and then there were the little pieces that came up across here and I just cut those off because I just want it to be able to open um, easily and I think I am going to run a bead of glued down that middle part I forgot to do that uh, let me get my glue um, just because I want it as two separate pockets. I don't want it as one pocket. So as long as you um, get in there and get a little bit of glue, it doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom unless you've got something that you're afraid is going to fall all the way out or something. But you just want it to uh, be closed there in the middle so that your tags or whatever will stand up instead of like flipping over because this is going to go in a another mini. Um, this mini's for Karen. It's already spoken for. So um, anyway, it would be, it's not getting sewn in, it's getting hinged in. So it would be able to, you know, have the tags fall over. So anyway, that's just, I want it glued down. All right, now that I've gone into way too much explanation for that, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is put some little eyelets right here. And I'm not going to do the little thing that they wrap around with the string and all that. I'm going to do something else and I'll show you guys. So I just want it kind of, I'm just eyeballing and centering the best I can. Let me scoot it up just a bit. Right there, I hope. <laughs> okay, and this is always the tricky part with my crazy little thing I got from Harbor Freight. Um, is getting the eyelet in there because it doesn't really punch the totally right size hole but you just have to be careful and do it and then it always takes me a minute to figure out which way it goes. I think it goes this way. Yeah. And we're gonna squeeze. And you have to be stronger than the average or at least stronger than me to get it to go all the way. Yeah that didn't Try it the other way. I, I usually end up doing it the wrong way, so that's just me. I'm very talented. That's why I don't have a crocodile because I can guarantee um, I'd never figure that thing out. <laughs> I know people use them all the time, but I seriously am challenged when it comes to stuff like that. I get Gail and I just laugh because I totally, 
understand Gail Agustinelli. She's always talking about how she struggles with the crocodile, and I know I would too because that's just my kind of thing. I'm just wondering if some of these are like a lot stronger than others, and that's why. Because I just did one the other day and it popped right in, no worries. So I'll have my husband squeeze it later and that'll probably do it. Oops. If I mess this all up, um, Karen, I promise I'll make you a new one. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to mark kind of where that hole is because I don't want to have them at really weird, odd spots away from each other. You know, that would be strange. So I was almost right on. So I'll just kind of go. Right there. So I hope you're all having a lovely day. I am. I am um, not at my normal job today. I'm not saying I'm not working because this is still kind of my work. This is my fun work, but um, nonetheless, it still is. Oh my goodness, that just cracked. That is crazy. That eyelet just cracked. Oh, fooey. I just squeezed it too hard that time. I don't know if I can get it out without messing it up. All right, hold on just a second. Let me, I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. So I got both of those in and, you know, cut a new envelope and all that. I knew I was going to rip the other one if I tried to get them out. So I just made a new one. All right, you know, all the technical difficulties that go on when you're doing this stuff. <laughs> Okay, so what I was thinking is I have um, a million of these. And so I thought I should, you know, use them sometimes. So I am going to do that. And I thought we could do kind of like all kinds of little things to hang down off of this. And then that will help hold this flap closed because of the weight. And um, it just looks cute, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put all kinds of different stuff. These are just some little pom-poms. I was just telling Allie, uh, the Cockney crafter, um, she was putting pom-poms on the bottom of something and talking about how much she loves pom-poms. Like, if you don't know what to do, just put a pom-pom on it. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So I'm just kind of cutting out one of the little flowers from this lace. And then we can put, we put differing lengths of stuff. I used to have more of these little, like, snowflake things, but I think I only have one left, so I won't use that. We'll find something else. Oh, I know I wanted to look at my sequins. I have this box of sequins that I've had forever and didn't know what to do with. Oh, and there's stickers in there and buttons, too. Hmm, that's great. Amazing what you find. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, BB Craft does have sequins, so if you want to go check that out and I forgot to tell you guys because I was telling you most of the stuff was 11 these are 1995 because this is letters and numbers so um, I just want to tell you that before you know if you haven't gone over there but I think that's pretty comparable I've looked at them other places and they it always seems that you know that's a whole set of letters and numbers it's going to be about that price all right I was hoping to find a couple of those little trees and I'm sure there's more in here you probably can see one out oh, there's one and you're screaming at me it's right there <laughs> I can't see it uh, okay I'm just getting some like maybe green or something Oops, thought I had it it jumped away from me. So yeah, these are great for bulb pins because they're nice and flat and they're light and they add a little sparkle. Now I have no idea how all this is going to go on here or if it is, but we're going to try and see what we can come up with just to do something different. And then maybe some other lace of some kind. I 
And I'm not even sure what that came off of. I'm thinking it was somewhere off of this thing. Let's get one of these up here. Sorry, you probably can't even see. I'm just doing, cutting this piece of lace off because I kind of want one, you know, similar size wise to this. So tomorrow is the last band competition of the season, and it's a big one. So um, it looks like we're going to have fairly decent weather. I mean, it's going to be cold, but, you know, it's just that time of the year where it's cold. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. I can handle that. It's the when it's like, you know, gale force winds and rain and all of that, that it gets to be a little much for me. So, um, I'll just sit there and shiver and it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the green one on first because it's eh, maybe the smallest. I do struggle with this fiddly stuff and I apologize because it just seems like, um, it's probably why I don't make jewelry because it's probably more work for me than it's worth. I mean, I know people make some beautiful things, but I don't seem to have the patience or the whatever to do that. Oh, my pom-pom. <laughs> Let me put it on after the tree and see if it'll... I'm not even sure if the pom-pom will work. It might be too fat. Yeah, I think it's just going to kind of... If it had a longer, um, you know, part there, it would work. But I don't think it will work with that, unfortunately. Okay, so those. Another thing that would be fun is buttons. Buttons, little tiny buttons. And I don't know where my little tiny buttons are right here now, and I won't torture you guys by going and looking for them, but um, buttons are a good thing to hang on these. Um, like little crochet pieces, like my sister makes those little flowers those would work good on these just like strips of lace you know would be pretty you could make them as long as you wanted to you know I just didn't want to you know make them too too big and bulky and stuff for on there so you know, something like that kind of feel like I want a little bit more on there let's see some longer pieces of lace would be fun. I have. Just digging through my bag. There's that. I didn't have any more of that one that I like. I tried to clip it to hold it to <laughs> so it wouldn't be such a mess, but I don't know that that really helped anything. I just want this part. I do end up taking these things apart a lot instead of using the whole thing. Oops. You have to actually stick it into the fabric, Amy. putting this on here and see what it looks like. And we could do another um, 
you know, you could do another metal stamp thing and hang it on there. And there's just loads of things. It looks like earrings. It has earrings. <laughs> All right. So I just think that's kind of fun. I just want to use those because they're great. I mean, they work for lots of stuff, and I sometimes forget about them. You could hang loads of different variety of things on them. I'm just kind of throwing my lace back in the bucket. And I'll set these over here, and then we need to figure out what else we want to do. I think I want to do stuff on this side. I probably should put the little flaps up, huh? So we don't get them in the way or anything. And so I thought I would use some of Rachel's paper. And I have my stamps. And this stuff. And find. I know somewhere in here there are like stamp stamps as in Sorry, I know this is kind of all over the place again today. I mean, I tried to, you know, get something in mind, but as always, I didn't have a whole lot of time to get it together. Ran to the post office and I had to go get tickets for the competition tomorrow, stuff like that. So it's just been kind of a busy morning already, which what's new, right? Just thought it'd be fun to put one of these on. I hate to cover that, but I think I'm going to because I want to decorate it. So that's kind of the way it goes. I'll leave this one. Let me cut this apart because it's throwing me off like um, with two of them on there. I wish I had the one that looks like stamp teeth, but I don't. This one's great. It just has one giant like tooth that I don't love. Just try to not use it. <laughs> just use the littler ones. little pieces off of there. I could kind of bring it over here more I guess because I am going to stamp over it again like that. Let's, those are stamp looking things too. I don't need more stamps. Cool with the cardinal on there. And I'm just tearing just a little bit. I mean, obviously, you can see that. You know, Captain Obvious sometimes over here. I think I'm going to take it all the way over there. Not sure. I'm just going to kind of do some little collage spots. Not sure I want that package. I might want something else. Because it is going to be all one, but you'll still see 
you're not going to see the whole thing together, which is something I always have to remember when I'm doing this because I struggle with that. Something kind of like that is what I'm thinking I want. I need to move my garbage. Hold on. Sorry, I've got stuff everywhere like always because I've been madly working on mini journals, which is awesome. I love doing it. Here's a little piece of this too. They're too much fun. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. All right, do some inking and some gluing. I need this. If you guys haven't tried this or seen it or whatever, um, I got this idea from Tracy Fox using a blush brush. Um, didn't like how that was looking thick right there um, to ink with it's just kind of a nice way to do it without getting those round circles on everything because that drives me crazy like I like using this for the edge obviously because it works better for the edges than that brush does but if you want to cover up white anywhere else um, that brush works really well because you can get some color on there, but it's not going to leave those weird circles and things on there. So like in the center of this, I don't want a big old blob there, I just want to color it a little bit. So the blush brush works great for that. Alrighty, let's get those glued, I need a book. some stuff is kind of hanging off it's hard <laughs> obviously to get it all on screen all the time just gluing though so it's not that exciting I gotta figure out kind of how I want this You guys are probably tired of me doing these, but at least I'm doing the ephemera and stuff so that, I mean, you could use this ephemera in any journal. You could use this exact same type of envelope and just sew it into your signature so you could put, oops, sorry, another piece of paper in there and stitch right through the fold. So you don't have to just use it for these little minis that I've been working on. And then obviously these things can go anywhere. thingies everywhere. I'm just gluing. I'll put that about there. Because I have a stamp that kind of has those same, um, the wavy looking lines. 
so I can use that. Kind of got glue everywhere. I need to do that thing with the card. I have cards and I just need to bring one up and, you know, like the, not a credit card, but like a gift card or whatever to wipe the glue so that you don't end up getting your fingers all sticky. I just forget that stuff until I go to do something and don't want to stop in the middle of a video to do that. Did it begin? I need to already change my book page, I guess. All the way over here and then I'll change it. use those for the uh, journaling cards. <laughs> and I'll move my little pom-poms out of the way. And we'll do some stamping on this. Um, thinking, I think I want to use my archival ink. It just kind of sometimes looks a little better than the So I've had these for a while. They're just postcard, all different sort of stamps. Um, I got them off of Amazon. I didn't realize when I ordered them, I thought they were silicone, but they're rubber. And I'm sure it said that, but you know, and they don't have a block or anything. So I just kind of wing it, but it's fine because I don't generally need the whole image anyways. I usually just use bits and pieces of the image. So I have those kind of lines again. Actually, I might go ahead and get all of it inked at least and see what I come up with. Okay, I think that'll work. I'm gonna kinda just come out here a little bit more. And then I think I'm gonna take and do some other stuff around about. So let me see what else I want. Most of them have numbers. like um, Stampin' Up stamps and I thought I would use like this Tis the Season and stuff like that. Just some stuff here and there and you may not even be able to totally read it so I'm not that worried about it. Just kind of want some different things around. This is where you can just use what you have. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, exactly like mine or whatever. It just says December 25th. just looking at it sorry <laughs> probably like are you there I know Okay. I think 
that's good because like I said it will be you know folded so you're gonna see this half and then as you flip through you'll see the other half okay we need a little something here I think I mean, all this paper is just gorgeous. Goodness. I think I want a strip of that. Just finding the middle so I can tear it at the middle spot. Each side can have a little piece like that. And I'm not even going to worry about the edges because um, they're going along those straight lines anyway, so I think it's fine. I know I just don't want to tear any more of this off than necessary because it's just pretty, pretty. Another thing we can do is, um, you know, just sort of slightly scrape the edges and that'll give it a little more dimension. It won't look so straight. Oops, that one's ripped already. So that'll help give that a little bit more interest. Oh, I think my husband's home. It's his birthday today. So I think he said he was going to get off a little bit early. So yeah, that's good. Very good. I'll glue those down. Or it might be my kids. They're at band practice. I'm not sure which one it is. <laughs> That's my kids. Their last band practice. <laughs> my daughter's going to be sad. Got a glob of glue right there. So these come down. How far do they hang? Hello. Nope. Don't know. They didn't hear me. Not sure what I want to put on there. <laughs> it needs like something red, but I don't know what. Those look a little bit too, like, I don't know, shiny for that. Could just not use those as stamps. I like these little tiny images here, at least this one. I'm making a video. So that 
could go there. I thought this was funny, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Let's see what other one we got. This little girl would be cute. The 1934 and 1935. So I don't have to use them as stamps. I can use them just... His images and she does kind of want a Santa Claus theme so I will be doing more of that I just am getting this one this way I could do because they look a little matchy a little too matchy if I have any of these Santas that would fit They're a little tall. I know there were some smaller ones. I just have to find them in my mess of things here. This one's kind of big. I know there were little ones because I was cutting them thinking these are kind of tiny. This was this one that I was thinking it was tiny. Let's see if I have what else I have. Oh, I know what I have. This will work. These are old time Santa stickers. Kind of like this guy right here. I kind of, uh, I mean, I'll leave a little bit of border on there, but I kind of cut these out because I don't like all this white that's on these. I got these off of Amazon as well. I can't ever find stuff like this around here. We just don't have any shops that have the older style. I mean, you know, like we have Michaels and Hobby Lobby and that, but um, some of the stuff is a little more specialty and it's hard to find, I think. And now that I've touched the whole back, I'm going to add some glue because <laughs> it's not going to be very sticky anymore. what I'm talking about, right? I do like this little house though, it's cute. Alright, so there's that. And I know that it's kind of a little bit fat there but I don't think it's bad at all it's mostly just the pins width so I think that'll work just fine so I hope you guys liked that and congratulations Nan I know that I'll end up sending that to her so Nan if you can just I think I have it somewhere but just for um, just so I know I have it can you send your address in a conversation to me on Etsy please and I will get that mailed out to you on Monday all right, I hope you have an awesome weekend, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now.